Hello, and thank you for your interest in audio precision. While there are hundreds of audio measurements that are appropriate for any particular device, there are some basic measurements that are relevant to nearly all audio devices. This video looks at crosstalk. Crosstalk is unwanted leakage or bleed of a signal from one or more channels to other channels within a device. It's a fact of life when dealing with electronics, but with thoughtful layout of a PCB or appropriate shielding on cables, it can be kept to a negligible amount. Measuring crosstalk is quite simple. We stimulate channel 1 with a signal, but measure the output of channel 2. Channel 2 has no input, so on a device with zero crosstalk, it will have no output signal. Where crosstalk is present, we'll see some signal that corresponds with the signal we're giving in channel 1. To get a value for crosstalk, we take the level from the channel we're measuring and divide by the full amount we measure on the stimulated channel. Because crosstalk is a ratio, it's usually expressed in decibels. Measuring stereo crosstalk is simple with a two-channel analyzer, but when you have a home theater receiver or a mixer with multiple inputs and outputs, it gets complicated. You could use a switcher and run through each combination of channels off and on, but it's much easier to use a multi-channel audio analyzer that can generate and analyze multiple channels independently and simultaneously. We'll look at these options in a later tutorial that covers multi-channel issues in detail. Okay, let's measure some crosstalk. Let's take a look at measuring crosstalk in a two-channel device. With an APX, it's extremely easy. First, we'll go to Signal Path Setup and configure the analyzer to our device. We'll choose Unbalanced to Unbalanced and leave the analyzer bandwidth at the default of 90 kHz. Then we click the crosstalk measurement from the measurement navigator. Crosstalk tends to be worse at higher frequencies, so we'll leave the generator frequency at the APX default of 10 kHz at 100 mV and hit Start. The APX drives channel 1 while measuring the level in channel 2. Then it drives channel 2 while measuring channel 1. The results are displayed in dB, or we can look at them as a raw percent. Just for fun, let's look at the crosstalk of an 8-channel equalizer. We're using an APX 585 here, so we can increase the channel count to 8 channels in and out. We'll run the measurement, and again you can see the APX going through the iterative process of measuring the output of one channel while all the others are being driven. We can also measure crosstalk into one channel from all others simultaneously. You might call this worst case. Next up, phase. 